previously on the Real World Real Rules casting special. 27 of us made it to the final round of casting calls. This is a one week that we have to show everyone what we're made of. Dude, I'm in my room for a reason. Just chill out, girl. It's not that serious. You're taking it too seriously. You're just waiting for a confrontation. That's what that girl wants, confrontation. Lori is really cool. She'd be the one girl who I could definitely see myself like hooking up with or, or dating. I currently have a boyfriend, but Kevin happens to be the guy I'm most attracted to. I don't understand like what gay people see in like guys, because I, I find women girls. so like like perfect. Like it's not even for you to understand. We want to congratulate our new cast. Woo! We're not going to tell you which show you've been chosen for. You'll just know that you're going to New York, and when you get there, you'll either walk into the real world law or you'll hop on the road rules winning. We'll see you in New York. This is the first time I've ever been in New York. I don't know who I'm going to live with, where I'm going to be living. It's kind of scary. In another aspect, it's kind of exciting. I'm ecstatic to leave San Francisco and come to something new. I really, really need a change in my life. The heart is a blue. Here. Ooh, we're gonna live with. I mean, I have an idea. Well, I know Ellen's gonna be with us. For sure. You think yeah. so? Ellen's gotta be around me. And I would think they would put Kevin here too, but. Because of you? Yeah. I'm blushing because I have a little crush on someone. A very harmless crush. I, can you really see him, <laughs> like, in that. sneakers and, like, Aww. cargos anyway? Exit the ferry and take the subway he to has a message. 32. Subway to what? 32 Hudson. What's this? We have to what take the subway, subway to 32 Hudson. I know that Hudson. subway. All right, Cora, I'm following you. OK. You lead the way. You're a pro. I used to live in New York. I was out here trying to model, so I know my way around the, the subway system pretty well. Wait, how do you know this is the right way? It's the one. Which way is J Street? Hudson. We're on Hudson. Hudson. We're on Hudson. Just right here. One. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Okay. Third more. Sixteen. This is the wrong subway stop. Yeah, it is. The subway lets us off at one Hudson. We have a Jesus walk to thirty-two Hudson. Hey, you know what? This one's awesome. My hands are like shattering. My nipples are creating holes in my leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm from, the Bay Area, there's just so much diversity that since a young age, you're always just constantly around people of all different kinds of cultures. When I see the Statue of Liberty, I think of all the, you know, the cultural diversity of New York and just kind of gave me a, an idea of what I feel like I'm about to embark on. I just wanted to know what's going on because I'm feeling anxious, just ready to get started on whatever journey that they have selected for me. Don't break your back to help me or anything. I wouldn't want you to break a nail. Okay, you know, I wouldn't. It was really good to see Nicole. I, I do think she's beautiful. The way we've connected so far, I feel like we, we could really get close. Yeah. You like New York? Yeah, I think that's the first time I've ever seen a Statue of Liberty. I didn't even see that. <laughs> see the projects over there? You know, it's ready to go down there. I am a senior at the University of Texas. I'm a broadcast major. New York City is a little intimidating. I've, I've hung out in big cities before, but uh, this is the biggest of them all. What's up, Kurt? I see the Statue of Liberty, and I got Nicole Malik. It's surreal at this point. It's fun, too. What's up, man? What's up, man? So six is Subway. Paige says to go to Manhattan on 32 Hudson Street. So what do you guys think we're on? I was thinking I was on um, Motorola's. 
<laughs> you think you have no rules, really? Mm -hmm. Would you want to be like? No. Uh, I'm a chick. Like, I wear like, so, oh, I guess you The good news about road rules is you'd be done quicker, though. I don't want to be done. What do I got in Atlanta? I got a dumpy apartment. And <laughs> My place in Atlanta is a dump. Uh, it's in a bad neighborhood, and it's a trashy little apartment with roaches and all that. Everything in my life that I had before I came here, I'm ready to replace with something new. 26. 26. 28. 28. 30. And no. 32. No. What are you doing? Going in. This house is fat. Everything we could possibly need or want is here for us. Oh, my God. thing is just so awesome. It's got an awesome computer. I mean, the fish tank's off the hook. I, I'm just in heaven right now. No, and there's more. There's no, more. Keep going. Dude, I'm up. Go outside. What's this? It's just no room? It's just a sitting around. OK. Oh Not leaving. I'm moving in. This is ridiculous. I can't really fathom this at all. Shoes? How, you what, don't how are you gonna get on 421? <laughs> yeah. You got some ways to go, babe. Right. Where are we in New York? Trinity Village. What, it, what kind of place is this? It's trendy, eccentric. It's a young hip hop. Now, where is it? We're by clubs and bars. Uh, but there's good. a lot, of, you know what, though? There's a lot of gay and lesbian people around here, too. Okay, yeah, you're the homophobe, right? <laughs> Sweet. I think New York might be freaking Mike out a little bit, just because there's so many different people. Wait, Mike, where are you from again? I keep forgetting where we're Parma, from. right by Cleveland. Is it like a little country town? Like, it's a city, but right. it's all white people. It's like, really white. Yeah, see, I don't want that This is pretty fat, guys. This is very fat. Who else here? And Nicole pretty much just makes my heart skip. No! What happened? <laughs> Nicole, I'm happy to see Lori in the house because what happened at finals, there was some attraction there. Yeah, uh, if you guys think plan on having some fun, we found some uh, condoms for you. <laughs> like, I'm so much happy. I don't know. I mean, no, this is no. worth a walk. Yeah, definitely worth a walk. Chantel? Like, Chantel, I, you know I didn't think I was going to get on the road. I just didn't think, like, a week ago I'm living in a dumpy apartment and now I'm staying in a million dollar loft. It's just, I mean, I can't comprehend that. Ain't that, like, crazy? Like, Chantel, this house is so bomb, yo. Girl, there's three black people on here. I still think I'm a bad world world, so I'm waiting for the RV to pull up. I can help. Yeah. Am I here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Am I here? Yeah, you're, you're here. Oh, I'm at the mirror. I'm thinking a dream. Right? You want to go out tonight? Does anybody else want to go out tonight? I'm down. I'm, I'm going out. out. I'll, I'll go out with you. I want to go out. out. It's our first night in NYC. We got we to gotta stay up and hit it up. If we don't celebrate tonight, we are a weak ass. Yes, right. yes, it's yes. Right. We, are, we, have to go, we have to start with a bang. Where are we going? Is the middle going to be a bang? The whole thing? Back home, I am the guy that likes to go out and have fun with everything. And I think I'm going to fulfill the same exact role through this house. <laughs> Do you still have a girlfriend? No. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, we're getting in some trouble. I do not have a girlfriend, but <laughs> is everyone single? So. Is everyone single on here? Yep. Lori, are you single now? Wow. Okay. Woo! 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 Cole, you're one of those people that if you're like not happy with something, you're just like, no, no. Yeah, are you? I'm not rude. I just don't extend anything, you know? Yep. 
<laughs> you're nosy. I saw you when, when you were with Ellen. Like, you were all like, I wasn't nosy. Right I was door. making fun of her. Everybody watch the Coral and Ellen show. No, I don't think they're going to put Ellen on here. You want to bet? Want to make a little friendly $5 wager? I halfway kind of hope that Ellen doesn't walk through this door, because if Ellen's going to be here, I'm going to need somebody to hold me back. Five dollars. Five dollars. I guarantee Ellen won't be here. Ellen will be here. Ellen will not be here. Big cities just freak me out. I get scared when I'm not in some place that I know. Hi. Where do I go to take the subway to? 32 Hudson Street. Your best bet would be to take the, um, the shuttle over to I've never taken Square. public transportation okay. before alone, and I'm scared to death. Excuse me. Do you know how to get to Hudson Street? It's down this way. Down this way? Yeah. Thank you. The last one just came in. No. No! Ah! I'm not gonna tell you who it is either. No! no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you lying? Yeah, I'm not lying. Prompts race for the finals. Rachel and I got to know each other really well, and I'm just very excited to see her. And Rachel, if you're feeling kind of frisky, okay. there's some condoms over there. Oh, good. Just, just you know, just in case. Rachel. This guy walked. This guy walked by with dragon pants on his butt out of the airport. And oh, you're so good. I told you. I did. I tell you. Did I tell you? I had to pay my $5 because I lost. It wasn't Ellen, it's Rachel. Oh, Where's you're your $5? Ellen. You're going to be Ellen. Oh. 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 They're going to oh. talk to us. Congratulations. They're going to be the cast, oh. cast of the real world. Oh. Of the real world. Yeah. Yeah. This is the true story, true story of seven strangers hey, what's up? picked to live in a house, <laughs> work together, it and have their lives taped. Sweet. Find out Stop being polite. Uh, and start getting real. Oh, God, funny. The real world. Back to New York. What are we going to do with the bedroom? Yeah, how do yeah. you want it? Wait, let's get it. Do you all know what room you guys want? The thing is, is that Pick out the room you I'm, not, I'm not cool for a co-ed room. Nicole and Cora both want to live with girls. And my mom would kill me if I had a boy roommate. Do you guys have a preference as to which bedroom you have? We can take, if you guys really want the pink one, I mean, do you I don't have a red one. I like the red one. Cool. The red purple one. So it's settled. And then they're, <laughs> and they're not here. We're cool there right now. That's you guys' bedroom. Yeah, you guys are the kitchen. Sorry. What? Purple, pretty fun time. Can we just, it's so girly, though. Basically, they picked out their rooms and left the guys with the most girlish room in the whole house. I mean, Rachel strolls in three hours late. Yeah, but she, she, she takes over the place. You know? I did not take over I mean, They don't have a choice because we've picked rooms and that's how it's going to be. Oh, this, this is a is boy's room. room. Oh, this is a guy's room. This is a guy's room. room. This is a guy's room. Naked woman. It's Naked blue. 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 We got panties on the 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 panties on is, is it starting to sink in yet? What? Yeah, no. I mean, it's basically... Yeah. Well, like, when we got here, I was like, this place is awesome. And now I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going to live here. From, like, three days after we got back to finals until the 10th of G January, I was grounded. Grounded? Yeah, because my mom saw that I had a belly, my belly pierced. So I had to take it out, and I was grounded for three weeks. I thought I was going to shoot just, myself. I mean, that's, I don't know. I, like, you can't even relate to that. I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't. I mean, it, it, no. remi it reminds me when I was a kid, you know? I would consider myself very mommied. I didn't get talked to for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Didn't get talked to because my mom saw it on Christmas Eve. She didn't talk to you on Christmas Day? Pretty much. That's just, it's, that's yeah. incredible. It was. It's not like you were pregnant or something I like know. that. You had a belly button ring. I know. My parents divorced when I was two years old, so I've grown up my entire life just living with my mom. I think that she feels the need to protect me very much because I am all she's had. But now... So you must be kind of happy to be here then. I am happy to be here. I, I, I learned that Monday by 
Yeah, or you can play. I used to. I used to. I can play. I promise you are. Not anymore. I, I, don't, I don't play games anymore. I play stuff like this. I, I, don't, I don't do the one night stand at all. I'm not going to have sex unless I'm in love. It's all relative, though. Like, I, I, most girls would say I would be if I was a player, but I wasn't a player in terms of, like, a lot of my friends. I, I, I had a serious girlfriend for a year and a half and never cheated on her once. I think the sexual tension with Kevin is good. I like the possibility of something happening. Oh, kids are leaving. No, Nicole's tired, so we're going to go back. All right, y'all be careful. All right, who knows how to get home? Okay. I like Mike. I like it too. I'm, I, I was, I was talking about the time casting thing. I can tell that he's jumping on you a little bit because you're like. No, he just takes it too far. I think he's. Yeah, I think he means well. He's too familiar. That's what Coral doesn't, as she says, doesn't have a lot of patience. He definitely gets under her skin sometimes. He's never met a black person until he's I know he that's so funny, but you know what? He doesn't mean to not like black people. Yeah. He just doesn't know what he's doesn't doesn't know. Yeah. He's living in Ohio in a sheltered experience almost his life. Right. I can't blame him. Yeah. Right, for real. I don't think that Mike has had a lot of experience with different cultures, and I think this whole experience is going to change him. Kevin's a really flirtatious dancer, really flirtatious, where he's up against you and kind of has his mouth on your neck. And I just sort of wish we could like reap the benefits of the sexual attraction before it fades. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? What? That's your first pickup line for every girl. No, no. I'm just curious about people's relationships. Like, people are all like, yeah, Mike's the horny one. Mike's the one that's going to have sex with every girl. I don't have to have sex with girls. I seriously don't. Yeah, I, I like to talk about it because it's a good conversation. I'm a big flirt. I flirt with any girl. But whether I'll move in on it is a different subject. So who have you, who's broken your heart? Justin. Because we were together for 13 months, and then he dumped me for the bitch. Do you think it's because he didn't give you any? No, he was totally in wait for marriage, like... It feels good to be hanging with Mike. Coming into this, he was one of the people that I was hoping would be here. How's that feeling for you? Ah! Okay, how about this? Listen, when you hit, when you see this ball, you're supposed okay, to hit Okay, I'm it. not good when I have to, you're like, lay on to the hit table. This ball, okay? okay, I'm not good when I have to lay on the table. You don't like the lay on the Wait, wait. You don't Mike, like the lay okay, on the table? Okay, don't make this into something sexual. My virginity is a topic of conversation in the house. I mean, oh, wait, you've never done anything. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> wait, that doesn't hurt. People are making fun of me about it. They're not realizing that I am four years younger than some of them. <laughs> Want to take a shower together? <laughs> yeah, that's the big up line of the year. I got, this one's actually, I think, pretty good for you. Do you have a map? I just got lost in your eyes. Ooh. That one's perfect that, that, for that you. One, that, one, that one caught my stomach. Like, that, that one got butterflies. You. You're going to use that sometime. Dude, I can't, I can't believe this place. You know what? I'm actually very happy that us three guys have the room together. Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, dude, I want co-eds. You know, I want co-eds. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't plan on getting any girls here, I don't think. Maybe, though. I like the innocent one. What? I like the innocent one. Rachel. Oh, yeah. When you see girls walking down the street, they all look the same. But when Rachel walks down the street, you'll notice her, because she's just that type of person. She's very, uh, very prima donna. It's more, she's more or less, like, not, like, hot. Oh, she's very prima donna. Yeah. She's very hot, but she's, like, a different kind of, like, pretty girl, you know? That's why I kind of like, I'm kind of just like, mm-hmm. I'm wondering, because Malik's in the bathroom and I have nothing to do. What are you doing? I'm harassing you. You're harassing me? I apparently do that very well. You have a gift for harassing me. How are you doing, silly guy? I'm already going to bed. Oh, why not? You're not being fun anymore. Because it's I'm another not going to play back. There's always room for a cheap shot. Why don't you play back? So you can make me look around again. You're not again. You the straight like organizer on the heater. <laughs> Laura seems to sometimes kind of blow stuff out of proportion <laughs> and maybe take stuff a little too seriously. You are so aware of what you look like in front of me. The fact that Kevin is always just chill isn't, it's not a negative quality. It just frustrates me. It pushed me way further. 
<laughs> Maybe keep pushing, I'll just like disappear. <laughs> Say it. Okay. I quit. No, you don't quit. I do. You're fine. This is it. This is it. This is over. Malik, did you see my new journal? Isn't this cool? What? My new journal. Let me see. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I'm really nervous about it. Being, oh. Shh. Loving. Oh. Spell it. Spell it. I'm in love with him any more than he already thinks I am. I think I'll get breakfast in like 15, 20 minutes. Zombie. He's gonna come with us. It's too early. Mama Coral's not making everyone's bed, is she? I'm not making everyone's bed. I'm making Mama Coral's, bed. Mama Coral's gonna make my bed, isn't she? She's a person I feel that I can learn a lot from, even though sometimes I feel she can be a, a little edgy, if you will. When you take a shower, you gotta make sure that the shower curtain is pulled all the way. Oh, you left that open over there? That's not your belt. No, my belt's, uh, no, Coral's gonna give me a... I have a belt. Some scissors. I have a belt if we need it. I'm down for the brown belt. That's it. Like my favorite color. Should be, this should fit. Yeah. Oh, let's ask for that little table right there. I need a big orange juice and a big cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. Coral and I are sitting at breakfast, and we were talking about, basically, black and white races and how um, education is different. That predominantly people of color don't have that access to the university, but so it's like they need to make more schools and more people want to go to college now than ever. They need ever. to make more good schools. Their education is bad in downtown Cleveland. Teachers don't care and it's wrong. And so like my uncle won't hire black people because he hired black people before and he found that most like they were sl like, like because of their uh, educational background they, they tend to be slower. He finds that most like. It ain't got nothing to do with education. Your uncle don't like black people. He was racist. It has nothing to do with their education. So it's like if I applied for a job there, do you think he'd not give me the job because I was black, even though if I was qualified? Like my uncle told me a, a reason why, and it was a pretty good reason. <laughs> black people don't necessarily get a, as good as education. Oh come on, stop, stop! Don't even do this with me here at the table. Stop. What? Stop. So you're going to, like, Whatever you just both? said, don't say it again. Okay. Whatever. Because that's not right. What well, Mike? says about black people not being educated. It's just saying that all the work I did as a child trying to do as good as everybody else was all for nothing. That's you not cool, Mike. Like, I know not. So don't, don't. You don't think in Cleveland. I don't know about downtown Cleveland downtown or Cleveland. anywhere, but even if you thought that to be true, you are sitting here with two African-American people. Do not insult me like that, okay? I'm not insulting you. Yes, you are. I'm not insulting you. Dude, let it go. I said no. Let it go. Coral took it the completely wrong way. She's like, what, you don't think black people are as smart as white people? And she got real pissed off at me. I wish I would have never said it. Thank you so much. You're a better man than me, man. I didn't need to express how hurt I was. Coral expressed how hurt she was by it. I, hella, I thought he was making a different point. I know Mike's opinion is, you know, reflected in his upbringing and the lack of exposure he's had to people of color. He's so ignorant, he don't even know it. He shouldn't say that kind of thing. But to be able to feel like you're like comfortable to say kind of like that? Right. And I, like, you know what? There, is, there is no excuse. There's no excuse. None. Kevin's very attractive. If Kevin and I were to hook up, I know I would be fine. I can handle kisses, casual kisses very well. It was weird too, because like at that same dinner table, someone said something about like kissing, or we were talking about like kissing people, and like he goes like this and like looks at me, and then like I look at him and we like make eye contact and smile. I'm like, oh cool, maybe we'll be hooking up soon. I think that Lori and Kevin are gonna hook up. Lori definitely likes Kevin, and I think Kevin's feeling Lori, so I think that they're gonna hook up. And he comes right up to you, goes, I wanna talk to you, and I'm like, Oh, I go, no. I'm like, what about? He goes, us. I'm like, no. I can't have a talk about us already. And he 
he's like, he's like, dude, we're here for five months. Like, you know we're gonna hook up. I'm like, if we're gonna hook up, we better do it like tonight. Like, what's the big deal? I'm like, you're thinking I'm gonna freak out. Like, if we hook up, I'm gonna be all like, we're together. Look, it's my boyfriend. We live together. Everything. It's gonna be so great. Okay, I don't married. want anything from you. Then, then he's like, why didn't you freak out about it when I wasn't freaking out? So then I started freaking out, and then like, he started just making me seem all neurotic. Okay, this is 20. I'm not neurotic. My life's been full of drama. I've already had a, a full life. At 18, I was diagnosed with cancer. Went through five months of chemotherapy. I uh, got it kicked out of my system, and I'm healthy as a cat. Cancer changed me. Had so much stuff happen. Can we talk about that I sometime? Love to. I love to. He's a cool kid. He's good looking, he's smart, he's been through a lot in life. That's what I kind of experienced to take for granted. <laughs> it's one of the, yeah. Did it change it? No, not really at all. It was, uh, it's no, of, it's all right. It's like going to wet and wild, you know? It's like bad hair day, yeah. really. Lori is very sweet, very pretty, and a lot of fun to hang out with. Malik is a talker, and he's an educator. I try to do that, but I, I get really offended and really upset at stuff like that and it's very difficult for me to even tolerate it she was just trying to like say don't start yeah, because yeah. you're what you're saying is wrong he started to say that the reason why my uncle doesn't hire black people is because black people aren't educated and that's okay wow. he said most black people don't go to, to most black people don't have good schools is this 2001 or 1930 yeah. it's such a negative thing it's so offensive especially he's sitting at the table with malik and i Malik going to UC Berkeley, one of the yeah. best schools, and he's yeah. telling me that most black people are uneducated. I'm most black people. And even if he felt that way, what in the world would allow his lips to say that? Yeah. And I think, get it out. I mean, this is a place where you're gonna, you might as well get it out because you know what, you can learn from people like us. I think that by the end, he's gonna learn a lot. You know, and I'm not, yeah. that, that's not cool. He needs to know. Don't do it, period. I'm not babysitting him, he's grown. I think that if he sees people like me who has come from neighborhoods that he has heard about that work very hard to get where they are, that he'll change those notions and ideas that he already has. Let me tell you, when Coral's mad at you, it's not a good feeling. She has this eye that she glares at you. And you can just tell, like she's real mad at me. Like, and I was so scared to talk to her about it. I'm not paying attention to what Mike's doing at all. If I don't like somebody, I don't like somebody, and I don't want to pretend like I do just to be amicable. You know, I tried to make her feel that I was sorry, but I didn't necessarily tell her I was sorry. I think Mike should approach Coral, because Coral's waiting, and it's only appropriate that he apologizes now. <laughs> mad at me just makes me feel like I'm nothing she was so intimidating I'm feeling like she hates me you know it just hurts so much inside do you want to go to Times Square real quick I don't care where we go get on the train I just want to go somewhere all right say tourists tourists I think I'm still overwhelmed with just the whole idea of living in New York. I think it's kind of sinking into me now that I'm here. Times Square is lights, oh billboards, it's like huge. It's an unreal place. It's like a dream. Yeah. yeah. This place is fat. Oh my God. I just hope to explore the city because it's huge and there's so much to do and I want to just take it all in. When you're shuffling the cards, think of 
what the purpose of the cards is. My mother's an astrologer, and I have the ability to read cards and to touch into people's feelings and know what they're talking about and know what their problems are. That's a love card. Oh, no. <laughs> Ongoing contentment. You're unhappy. You have a little bit of a heart road. Um, I've been dating my boyfriend, Matt, for 10 months. And it was um, a mutual decision for us to break up. You're gonna have a tough time in your love life. Right now, I'm really confused because I'm a creature of routine. I'm used to going to my boyfriend's apartment, and I don't have that anymore. You might be alone for a little while, but take this time, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you're not gonna be alone forever. planning on hitting the bars, going out, checking out our neighborhood, have a few drinks. We drank shots, champagne, and drinks. Where the hell are we? 32. Let's go to, Sud Let's go to Hudson, and then we can count from there. So I drank more than I planned to. I definitely should have the glass of water for the bed. Yeah, you I'm, ah! oh, I know you think I'm like absolutely glittery. Well, all of us should have a glass of water for the bed. It's like, oh, you freaked out right there. Okay. I like drama, little conflicts. There's one thing that I hate, it's being bored. I've had 22 years of flat out drama in my life. I need about five years of just having fun and not having a lot of drama in my life. Stop Chill. worrying about what, the, what whoever makes you look like. I'm worried about what you make me look like because you're the person that you're acting with. To you! You're worried about what I think about you. And I don't I want you to think I'm just being like neurotic out of nowhere. Because I like you, I'm gonna take you for your word. All right, okay. I'll take you for your word. I, I believe you're not neurotic. Oh, I'm so looking forward to when we actually know each other so we don't have to play the the these games which you don't believe we play. doesn't hire black people because in Cleveland, all the black people are uneducated <laughs> and are slow. I don't have the same respect for him that I did before he made that comment. She was mad, though. She, like, that it, she's a, she, she thought, I didn't, I didn't mean it that way, though. Yeah, Coral's really edgy about that stuff. She is. She's like, you just gotta be, like, man, I, and plus she's like, she gets, she has these moods. Yeah, she was moods. Like, one minute she's like, oh, good, cool, you know, like, cool girl, you know. Then the next minute she's just like, don't talk to me. Coral has all the right in the world to be, to be upset because Mike doesn't know how she feels about that. I didn't mean it in this way, though. Yeah, you like, just I gotta, just, I mean, I felt really bad. Like, I've never felt. How dare you say something like that, especially sitting next to me? Are you out of your mind? Yeah. I'm trying to, like, block it out. Because every time I see him, my eyes get red. I really can't foresee Mike and I having any type of relationship where I'm not remembering past errors. You just gotta remember that, I mean, in terms of talking about race or religion and stuff like that, you, you just gotta be, you gotta really be conscious of how people feel about it, you know? It bothers me to hear that Mike would actually say that because I really don't think that he believes that, but you just gotta, you gotta think before you speak. I know I'm better than that. I know I'm not racist or prejudiced. That was like the beginning of the demise of the relationship. Right. And then from then on, I started noticing all the things that irked me. And you know, like once somebody gets on my bath, it's very difficult to cross back over. Right. The next time something like that happens, he will hear my mouth. And it will mean something. So, you know, with me, he's going down. lie on Kevin's stomach and like talk to him have some sort of intimate conversation was moving for me he's still someone I'm attracted to honestly I don't have a problem with him knowing it what do I have to lose really and maybe I'm more attracted to him than he is of me or maybe I'm the only one who is attracted at all well then so be it I mean what do I have to lose really all right. <laughs> <laughs> definitely there are certain parts of Lori that I'm very attracted to. Sam, that's what I'm kind of looking forward to. The sexual tension between Kevin and me is at a climax. I didn't think that you could come to me and just talk about it, you know? Well, I didn't want to talk about it because I was enjoying the possibility and the tension of it. <laughs> he seems interested in hooking up, 
and I would like to just kiss him now. Which is why you want to. Which is why you want to get it over with. First night. <laughs> like I know so many people that have like started stuff and they end up living together and it it kills. Them. Oh no no no! You of know course that. no! I completely you, agree. You know it's just not good to live with someone, especially this early on, and uh, and try to have a relationship. Well, I just want to you you know you know I just want to hang and just be cool. And if we end up kissing or whatever, that that's gonna happen. Then it'll happen. I definitely think that I, if I wanted to hook up with Lori, I could. I sort of think Kevin's giving me mixed messages because though he's saying, no, I don't want to hook up right now, he's still saying we will. I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me. You just have to think before you talk. You seriously have to think before you talk. Yeah, it wasn't a good experience. I was just like, I felt so, like, my stomach just dropped. And just, like, how she was mad. And, like, I just looked at her and I was just like, oh, man. I really didn't mean to offend her or Malik, but I did. And it really made me feel bad. I mean, just tell her, just be genuine. Tell her you're really sorry about it. And I know you, I know you, I know you don't have a bad heart, so. Yeah, yeah. Malik can change. Malik can change. He doesn't bother me at all. I don't want Mike to become the outcast of the house. And I know that deep down in his heart, he didn't mean anything bad by what he said. But I think she's going to be really bothered with that until you go and say something to her. I think that's something that's going to continue to bother her until you make an effort. I was planning on it. I was just waiting to her. I wasn't going to do it yet yesterday because she was like, just seemed really, didn't seem like just wanted, you know, like mm -hmm. today she seems like in a better mood. I went up and talked to her, and I was so scared. I was like, you know, are you mad at me? And she's like, I just thought you were better than that. Like, I'm going to live with you guys. So I'm going to live with all these guys, everyone for like five months. And then like the way she was just ignoring me all day afternoon, just, I was just like, I, I, like, and I'd try to talk. Like, I'd, be like, I'd be like, so, you know, I'd be like, mind your business, mind your business. Mm -hmm. I'd just be, I'd be like, I was just like, oh, man, you know. What would be my option? What else could I have done? Acting cool? What would you have done in my position? I don't know, I said. So, feel bad. Be embarrassed. You should be. I do. But if you honestly think you're wrong, you need to step up. Come to me and say, like you just did right now. If you would have done this yesterday, we would have been talking it today. He's not a mean guy. He doesn't hate black people. No, he just doesn't know no better. And I think I need to learn that not all people are ignorant on their own accord. So I think that I could learn that from him. You know, it's a two-way street. I might say some things that make you mad. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. All three of us, Coral, Mike, and me, are all able to realize that living with each other is going to have an effect and maybe changing us. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that eye, and she has this eye that's just like, <laughs> she'll look at you and you'll just be like, it'll sink right into you, you know? That's so funny. Yeah, but she's the coolest girl. Like, everyone I live with is just so cool and so diverse and just, just what I've never been around. And I'm just, you really needed this? Definitely. Are you kidding? Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, I definitely needed this. I know. This is something that's going to help me, like, throughout my entire life. that I'm interested. He's totally aware of it and is all like, no, no, not now, no, this is a bad time, later, later, later. But then he's all sort of flirtatious and making all these jokes about us hooking up and, you know, hugging and stuff, and it's just really confusing. That's Kevin's situation. We just see it differently and... When you have a crush, it means like it kind of like bothers you, kind of hurts you, hence the word crush. He's just making a huge ordeal out of it. It looks like he's just doing it for attention. Well, it's tough to have a crush. Whoever knew such hullabaloo. Well, it's tough to have a crush when it only leaves you blue. Just that whole little dynamic of that is hilarious to me, how you could like, like a guy and have him, and he's like, no, no, I just want to be friends. I've never even heard that. Does that even <laughs> exist? Our friendship, because when we hung out, you know, like we obviously we started off being friends, you know. 
like there was never that boundary. Like we never were gonna cross that, like in Palm Springs. But now, like it's like we still do that. We still try to have that same friendship, but it doesn't work. I just seems like there's a little connection, like building. You know, I don't know if it happened there, but I just think there is there are feelings. I know that they 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 do feel somewhat of an attraction to each other. I mean, she said she's like, I want to kiss you. You know, I just want to see how that felt. Like I don't want a premeditated kiss. You know. Like, if it happens, it happens. If I kiss her, I kiss her. You know, it's not a big deal, whatever, obviously. Anybody says, you know we're going to hook up. Like, in the five months we're here, we definitely are. Absolutely. I'm going to put you on the back burner. Lori is very fun to be around. I don't know why any guy wouldn't want her. I know. Let him, you know, decide when he wants to hook up. Coral's such a confident person, and I don't really think I carry myself quite as strongly as she does. I am totally down with throwing myself out there and getting hurt. I think she's a pretty girl, and I like her. I like her as a friend, you know? You don't think you're gonna kiss her this whole trip, huh? I mean, you know, this is, I mean, that's... It's probably what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna happen, you know? There's 50,000 guys within a 10-mile radius of you that look 10 times better little Kevin upstairs. I know, but and why like you, you can't have... And they'll like you, you know what I mean? There's 10,000 guys out there that you can't have that look better than his ass. I know, I'm not desperate. I have a crush. This is what happens when you're crushed. You're stupid. Well, it's tough Sometimes. to crush on on you. Yeah, it's tough Sometimes. to crush on